Bullying. Um. It's the morning time now, so I must wake up and start the video. Okay, so this is the end of the, the studio here. It used to, the, the, this is all lots of canvases attached together to make one huge canvas. It used to have them coming out either side, but it didn't look, it didn't feel, it didn't feel right. So I took all those off and I've been making those into separate paintings of their own. And then this just feels so much better and you like you can look right up and see all the mark making and it's just layers and layers of detail i absolutely love this flower here and this sort of bluey purple i don't know what day i did that on but i'm really pleased with that and you can sort of really just feel involved in it okay have i got oil on my face have i got oil on my face now oh my gosh i think i do don't rub your face against paintings, everyone. Oh, let me show you this face. This is my absolute favorite patch on it. Love that so much. Most things around here are happy accidents, but this, whoa, that bit there, if I could bottle that, I would. But yeah, all the detail, absolutely love it. Had to use the ladders to make it. And I think I've signed it. Oh yeah, I signed it down there. But it's got these like big trees in it behind it and all the flowers very inspired by Dartmoor where I am. Okay now I want to take you down the rack of canvases. Are you ready? Probably won't um I probably won't show you it that well but here we go. So these are all the canvases I have at the moment. I mean I actually have loads more over there and in storage but they just tell the story of me and my studio and all my things. I think <clears throat> mostly I have just huge canvases here. This is, this is one of my favorite canvases of all time. It's, um, it's a view of Devon from Dartington and I just love it. I don't know, it just brings back such happy memories. It's got such good pinks and yellows in it and clouds. Let me show you another one. When Bee was born, I felt she was so tiny and vulnerable and I just wanted to protect her and it hit me so hard. So I remember one night after I'd fed her and put her down, I painted this like piece about protecting the young and how it's our duty to protect young people. So that one's an ode to Bee and all the children born ever. Okay, I just pulled this one out as well. And these are the teapot people. So they live in um, teapots and they actually live under the table as well. So this is one family living under the table and they get up on the chair, they're all out and they live in the teapots and then they go up here and they use the bird to get to different places to go shopping and all sorts of things. And then overall, if you look at it, it's just a still life. And then we actually have the original teapot people. Here they are. They live in the teapot. And all the tea, um, what's it called? The smoky bits that's not smoke coming off the teapot. And they've all got pattern jumpers on. Sorry, it's a bit dark if you can't see it there. And then I just thought I'd make you laugh by showing you my workshop and how tidy it is. <laughs> um, I definitely need to tidy up. And I will tidy up. This looks normally a lot better than this. Actually, is that a lie? <clears throat> I think it might be a lie. There's normally more paint than this. 
And believe it or not, this was after a tidy up. But when I'm painting, I just have no ability to tidy at the same time. Anyone else get that? So I'm looking over there because that's where I can see myself because I want to show you something. So I am no beauty connoisseur. I feel like I'm, I'm jumping through the hoops of looking acceptable every day. Anyone else do that? And I went to this important meeting last week in London and I got so worried about it, I over my eyebrows. I'm an enthusiastic person when it comes to anything. Are you ready? So I'm just going to show you where most of my eyebrows missing. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm missing this whole chunk. <laughs> so just drew it in. But then it looked ginger. Uh, anyway, that's just that's just a little update. I'm every evening well not every evening, most evenings, I um write in my book about things I want to do the next day because then they're more likely to happen I don't know it's just some sort of magic stuff where you write it down and then it happens um so I'm about to do that and um I just saw all your comments from last vlog and I can't believe it you actually liked it well about 10 of you did and that is that is that is plenty uh you know I'm here for 10 of you <laughs> concludes the week. I said in my last video that it's going to the Arctic this week but it's actually next week. It's all very confusing in vlog time isn't it because you see it like on the Sunday. So packed for that today. I did some drawing. I've just been busy in the studio. It's been one of those weeks where I've just been getting stuff done you know. I'm looking in the wrong place there. Yeah I'm getting nervous about going away but really excited as well. I've got my books on like Arctic animals here and there's just like so much to remember and pack when you're going painting out and about. I really wanted to get a Rory, a Rory Borealis nails done. Like so the colours of the Northern Lights on my nails, but now technicians got away on holiday. Spontaneous holiday, won't be back till March. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. Not a big issue. Just a tiny spanner in the works of my mind. So I write in this book. This one's from Liberty. It's really nice. It's got like a, it's got like a lovely stitching weave on it. And it's more sort of organising my head on paper. And it just really helps me. I like make sure I'm writing what's happening the next day. And it's just like... I put it all in there and then I can sleep or um, I'll wake up and I'll like put it all in there and then I can like understand what's important for me to do uh, that day. So I advise it if you have a similar brain to me, which is very scatty, but very excited. Anyway, good night from me.